Hey, it's Andrew from The Big Picture and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about backing up the photos on your phone. And uh, the best way to go about that is to, um, I, well, I think the best way to go about it is to pay for Dropbox, $100 a year, totally worth it, and that is going to make sure that all of your photos are backed up and good to go. So on the phone, you just install the Dropbox app, you pay for your yearly subscription, and you turn on the automatic um, uploads of your photos and videos from your phone into the cloud. Now the next step that I love to do is to take the photos that show up in my Dropbox on my computer and have them automatically imported into Lightroom. Now that means that I can have them instantly available in Lightroom. Um, the moment that they've been uploaded uh, from my phone and then they get pushed into Dropbox, then they'll get put into Lightroom as well so that I can very easily go in there and make any tweaks to them. I can send them off to print. I can do all those things, all the powerful things that Lightroom can do for me um, are all there. And that includes facial recognition. That includes um, being able to adjust all the brightness, colors, whatever that might be. Um, it can do all of those things um, using Lightroom. So you can very easily browse through five or six different versions of the same photo, pick the one you like, hit five star or hit flag or hit whatever. And, um, and then later on, you can easily go and just like look up photos that are all your five star photos from your camera. So this is especially useful if you have yourself and your wife um, that um, are both on there, then you can have the um, Dropbox app installed on both of your phones and then all that stuff gets uploaded into the same folder and then automatically up, um, imported into Lightroom as well so that you can um, then have access to them and be able to do things with them. I'm going to show you a quick little screencast on how to do it on the phone. Um, and then also I'm going to show you uh, how to do, how to set up the auto import within Lightroom. Alright, so one of the coolest features that um, Dropbox has is that it can do uh, automatic camera upload. So for us on iPhones, we can open up the Dropbox app. And same thing in, um, in an Android, it's the same idea. Uh, but you open up the app, you make sure that you go to the Recents. Uh, screen and then that gives you this gear icon that's at the top corner here. So when you do that, that brings up um, your menu options for settings and everything. And you just make sure that your camera uploads is set to on. And you make sure the video uploads is set to on. And uh, you can turn on background uploading if you'd like um, so that it just um, automatically does that in the background for you. Um, so. I had that turned off previously, but um, for me now, uh, a lot of the time, it's whenever I'm on Wi-Fi, it's going to just upload my photos in the background, um, and they're going to go to Dropbox. So that means one, they're going to be uh, backed up on Dropbox, and two, I'll be able to um, access them very quickly and easily on my computer. And that's where we're going to go and use Lightroom in order to get all of these photos into Lightroom and have them cataloged and used correctly. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, right now. All right, so here we are in Lightroom. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that um, on your phone, you have Dropbox set up to automatically upload your photos and videos whenever you're on Wi-Fi, and it'll upload to your Dropbox folder. Um, that particular uh, setup will up, uh, upload the files to Dropbox Camera Uploads. That's where it's going to upload those. So I just have a few samples ones in here for right now just to kind of show you uh, how all of this works. So there's the Camera Uploads folder just so that um, we can see there's some photos in there and that's where it's going to be. So that's where Dropbox is putting those pictures. Now um, in Lightroom we're going to have Lightroom automatically import those photos um, into Lightroom for us. Now in order to do that, um, we can go over to File, and of course it's kind of showing it off screen here. I have no idea why it would be showing it off screen, but I'll just move over here. File, and then go to Auto Import, oh, even better, that's awesome, I'll move it even farther over, 
go to file auto import and then auto import settings then up come the settings right here so this is where we can enable everything that we need to do so um, the watch folder um, is where you choose so that's where we're gonna set it to be this folder here this uh, Dropbox camera uploads folder now you'll see what happens here when I choose that folder if I go there and I choose Dropbox camera uploads and hit select folder it's gonna give me an error to say the auto import folder must be empty when first set up please choose an empty folder so that's where we have to just take any um, pictures that are currently in that camera uploads folder and just move them to a temporary directory first so what I've done is I have like a temporary directory in my Dropbox where I have a whole bunch of photos already all in there. Um, so I'm just going to take these ones that are in the camera uploads and I'm just going to drag them over into this temporary directory. So they're in there in this temporary directory for right now. So now this folder is empty, which is great. So I can uh, minimize those. And I go back here to the, um, the import settings and the auto import settings and I can hit choose and then hit Dropbox camera uploads as my location that we're watching so that the location that uh, Lightroom is watching for any new photos to arrive into and then I can change where those photos are going to move to now the best way to do this actually is to keep the folders uh, keep the images in Dropbox so what I'm going to choose is another folder in Dropbox that I created that's empty uh, right now and I'm going to call it, um, I created a new folder called All Camera Uploads. So basically for me this is going to keep all my photos still in Dropbox so then that way they're already backed up in the cloud so I don't have to worry about you know if my computer died or got stolen or something like that all of my camera uploads would still be within Dropbox in the cloud. That's why um, I'm choosing to have it go from the standard camera uploads folder just to an, another folder in my Dropbox that has all camera uploads. So I'm going to select that folder now and um, for whatever reason Lightroom gets you to choose uh, a subfolder name. If you erase this then it's going to add it back in again. So I'm just, I'll just leave it there as auto imported photos. It doesn't really matter to us. Um, where they are uh, and where is the fact that they're in there because once they're in our Lightroom catalog they'll be searchable and we can do a whole bunch of things with them and that's what the power of all this is. Now um, for me I'm just going to leave these uh, settings all as they are um, but you could change the file naming if you wanted to um, and actually the way that um, my phone automatically does dates and times uh, as the names of the files anyways but um, you could find it useful if your phone doesn't do that where you can put in the date and then the file name just so then that way um, the file itself has the, the date written right in the file name and that might be easier for you to find later if you need to or even just looking at it you'll know oh that was taken back in 2015 or whatever um, and then this last one here uh, is the initial preview so if you wanted Lightroom to um, actually render the images in a little bit higher resolution um, then you can have it do that here and that kind of takes a little bit more CPU power uh, on your computer's point uh, to do that so I just tend to leave it at minimal for now so then that way it's not uh, doing anything extra for me but now I can just hit OK and that's going to um, like have the settings correct for the auto import but it's still not enabled so you can notice there that uh, you can uh, check it check it off here at the top to choose enable auto import um, so I can just do that there or you can go file auto import and then enable auto import and that just does it so now we can see here that if I just go back to this now bring our, our window back and um, and we'll see that this is the uh, all camera uploads folder so that's the destination of where the pictures are going to go when Lightroom does the the auto import and then we have over here the let me just bring up the camera uploads folder which is right here which doesn't have anything in it right now but if I go and take a few photos from that temp folder that I that I had um, I could just take a couple of these here 
and drag them into the camera uploads folder like that. Lightroom should, yeah, you can see that one disappearing already. There's one so, and there's another. So now those two that were in the camera uploads folder automatically got moved over here into this one uh, right here. So there's the picture of this building. And now if I go and take a look in Lightroom here, um, there's this folder that's been created. So I can go into the auto import folder and there's the um, there's the images. So now they're automatically all imported into Lightroom. And uh, from then on, then we can start to uh, do some things with them. But um, I will go into that a little bit later here. So if you like this video and you uh, want to learn more about Lightroom and how awesome it is to be able to manage your photos and uh, do amazing uh, retouching and stuff with it, um, join our Facebook group and uh, we'll see you in there.